Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to be talking about the Lightroom and Photoshop plugin by Google called Nick Collection that has just been made 100% free. Theme tune. Can I get another one in? I'm gonna try. So Google made the announcement just the other day that their Nick Collection software, which is essentially a load of plugins for Lightroom and Photoshop, they used to cost $150 and a few years ago cost $400. They just announced that it's absolutely free. Zilch, zero, nada, nothing. It's now free. And not only that, if you have purchased it anytime in 2016, you're gonna get a full refund, which I think is awesome. So um, I made this announcement too on, my, on the Photos in Color Facebook page and also on Snapchat. If you follow me, awesome. If you don't, then my snap code, get ready to pause, is gonna pop up in three, two, one. There it is, okay, now that's over with. So what is the Nick Collection? Well essentially it's plugins that live inside Photoshop and Lightroom and allow you to open them up and add presets and all sorts of different things. It's a series of seven different plugins. So I'm gonna do seven for seven. So over the next seven days, I'm gonna do a tutorial on each of these plugins. Today, just to get us started, we're gonna download it and install it and I'll show you where to find it inside Lightroom and Photoshop. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so here we are. This is the Nick Collection website. Essentially, google.com slash Nick Collection, Nick N-I-K. Okay, and that will bring you here, and it says at the top here, Nick Collection is now free, yay. So, as you can see, it's seven different plugins, okay? Uh, you have Analog Effects Pro, which is essentially makes things, gives it film grade, and makes them kind of look old school, like 35 mil film kind of stuff. Color Effects Pro, this is essentially color correction. Silver Effects, Pro is black and white. Viveza, Viveza, I don't like the name that they called that, but that's essentially the um, uh, selective color, I think, is what that is. HDR Effects Pro is allows you to create HDRs. Sharpener Pro is your sharpening and all sorts of things there. Then Define is how to reduce your noise in images. So I will do a tutorial on all of these over the next seven days. So please keep checking back and then you can learn along with me. Um, so now we're here. How do we install it? Well, we go to download now, you hit download, and then you select for Mac or for Windows. I have a Mac and it will download it. So it might take a while because it is 600 megabytes on your computer. Now, once you have downloaded this, it's pretty simple. All you do is you're gonna open your um, downloads folder or you may have selected where you want it to be and it will come under the Nick collection. So on a Mac, uh, uh, this is how it works. On a PC, it's pretty similar. Okay, so it brings up this. Then you've got the installer and the uninstaller. I want to install, so I double click on the installer and then it's gonna bring up a brand new thing. So I want to open it because it came from a website and then I'm gonna hit continue. Yes, I'm gonna accept. You always have to accept all of these things. Now this tells you that it's gonna run with these sets of um, pieces of software, Photoshop, Aperture and Lightroom. We're interested in Photoshop and Lightroom. You can select a location here, which is fine. And it says that it's gonna take six gigabytes of space, okay, on your computer. So you install, you're gonna type in the password. If you have one set for your computer, and then it's gonna go ahead and install this. Okay, and once it's installed, it will say the installation was successful. Hit close, and now you're done, essentially. So you're here, and then you will just open up Lightroom, and I can show you where it is. So say we want to edit this image here. Now, the way to do this is you just right click on it down here, and then what you select is edit in, and now you see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, different brand new things in right here, which you can do directly from inside Lightroom, which is great. So for example, we want to edit it in Photoshop. All we do is we right click and we go edit in Adobe Photoshop. And what it will then do is it's going to open it inside Photoshop for us. 
which is really, really fantastic. So here we are in Photoshop, and you can see it's now brought in this panel automatically, which is our Nick software selection. So we can essentially go through now, and we have all of the different options within here. Now, if you don't see this panel, all you do, you go File, Automate, and you're gonna ask for the Nick Collection Selective Tool. And you're gonna click on this, and it's gonna bring it all in just there. So that there is how to download and install the Nick software. Now, over the next seven days, I am going to be showing you how to use every single one of the plugins for Photoshop and Lightroom. So keep on checking back and tell me what your thoughts are on the Nick software and maybe why have they made it free? I wonder if anybody else has some thoughts on that because I know I certainly do. Anyway, I hope you like this um, little intro and let's see how things go over the next seven days. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune? Yeah, I think so.